Restoration. Restoration is brought to you by Hisense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Yeah, it's extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. Hello, you're welcome to Restoration with Stace. We are brought to you by Kind Cats, Yas Washing Powder, and Yas Sanitary Pad. Hooch Khan and Toko Flakes, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, Adonko Original Hand Sanitizer and Adonko Next Level, High Sense Everyday Prizes for Everyday People. And I also want to say a very big thank you to our supporters, GTP for my fabric, ABS Lux Line for my beautiful outfit, Style by Yemi for my hair, Divine Cassie, my makeup, and GH Beauty Artistry. I would also want to say a very big thank you to our official photographer, Brian Phil Studios, and our production company, Emplan Media. Kata World Cup 2022. Maybe said it to Phone bang. Home theater bang. TV bang soon on the head. High Sense TV. High Sense TV. High Sense TV. High Sense TV. Push a World Cup for High Sense TV squad. It's a size of the picture. Oh, clear. Come in, come away, man. So, I'm going to go High Sense Home Theater. And I'm High Sense TV. Come in, Trino. I'm going to say, kick him. Give him, give him. As the original of me. She ain't here, say. You're starting World Cup, man. No one can traffic me. And no one has a high sense smartphone. And down so. Show up also. Picture the sound. And you're clear. Qatar 22 World Cup. Your person will share that feeling. Your name says you're a ton, so for my head. Madam High Sense. Martin to the sale. Who? And to your turn today. High Sense World Cup Triple Promo. Every 20th October. 28th November, mobile phone, sound system, TV, one Tobia, why your home? Yeah, that's a crime, I'm real. High sense of one about five years warranty. Roam away, our high sense showrooms, I our Ghana for Nina. High sense, everyday prices for everyday people. I remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yes, extra long sunny trip took the worry away. Easy. Yes, comfort. I got yes, confidence. I got yes. The new Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Feel confident. Stay fresh. Hi. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got yes. We got yes protection. I got yes extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. Hello, your friend is Jackie. So we will be our new home at the Ajet Semia in Pimpino. You to me five gems if you get a dear you need your busia, your fans, any and that for for any of them. so who bet to me about home by using a dunkle hand sanitizer, dip beer, any beer beer. If you say you to me five gems, if you never mind yourself, it's home. A dunkle hand sanitizer, but to me a bow home by dip beer, free gems, bacteria, I you need in home. A dunkle hand sanitizer, sure or do. Na ba wo hun ban. FD ya hwehwe sai dwade nkra to imu age atum sai eye. Pepsodent introduces charcoal and lemon essence. The unique combination of natural essences whitens teeth naturally for you and family because every smile matters. New Pepsodent Herbal. Introducing a unique combination of herbal extracts. In an antibacterial toothpaste for strong teeth and healthy gums that protects your family and you. Every small matters. Restoration.
Health is something most of us take for granted. We take keen interest in everything around us. For us women, we are interested in our beauty, the way we look. We are interested in our weight because we want to stay fit. But have we ever taken time to have a thorough check of what is going on in our body, in our system? Because these things contribute to all the beautiful things you want to look like, all the beautiful figure that you are actually gunning to achieve. So this month is October and is the pink month, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So joining me to have this conversation on breast cancer is my sister, my Batman sister, Dr. Ayongo Annan. Doc, how are you? Yes. It's been forever. Yes. Yes. I miss you. No, I miss you and too. you're looking very well. So as women, we're all trying to stay healthy. We're all trying to look beautiful, even when we are aging. And now we're all trying to stay in shape and have fine figure. But there are most things we take for granted. We look at all these things and we forget to look after our health. We have worked closely for cervical cancer. And in as much as we all know there is breast cancer, we take it for granted. So to start with, I would ask, what is breast cancer? Okay, thank you very much for having me on your show. It's always a joy to meet up with you. So breast cancer, breast cancer is uh, when abnormal cells develop within the breast. So the breast has its own cells, but when certain interactions occur, then abnormal cells develop, and then these grow. You know, abnormal cells don't know, stop growing. Mm -hmm. So they keep growing and developing, fill the breast, sometimes go to the other breast, and then begin to go outside the breast tissue to the lungs, the bone, and other areas of the body. So that's what breast cancer is. So what causes the cells to react this way? Okay, so what it is, is there's no known actual cause. But it's been associated with certain genes that certain women may have. And then it has other risk factors like running within the families. Okay. And once you're a woman, you are at risk for child risk. Now we also talk about men also being um, also getting being at cancer. risk. Yes. But women, once you're a woman, once you're growing, once you have within your family, and other risk factors like smoking can also be a risk factor. Obesity, when your body mass index is more than 30 wow. and you're obese, can also put you at risk. Women who have never had children, they are at a higher risk than other women. Why is it so? Because um, there are some hormones within the body that take a break okay. when you get pregnant and then when you deliver. So when you haven't had that break before, it's like the hormones have been working throughout the system all the time. And then sometimes it puts you at a higher risk of having breast cancer. At what point should one go like, Am I getting breast cancer? What, what are some of the signs to look out for? Okay, so some of the signs are you may see a lump or may feel a mass mm -hmm. in the breast. And then when you look at the two breasts, you may see maybe one is bigger than the other. You need to be concerned. The skin texture may change. Some people say that it may be as minor as just maybe a darkening of the skin. So as major as looking like an orange peel. Mm -hmm. You know how an orange peel looks yeah. like? Yes, we call it so. That one is called peel the ranch, like an orange. Mm -hmm. You go as far as that. Then also you may have nipple discharge. Your nipple, which usually for most people points outward, mm -hmm. may begin to point inward. Oh, so instead of it protruding, it's, it's rather going... to go inward. And it goes, uh, it goes with... The dimpling or the wrinkling of the skin around the nipple. That is also a, a red flag. Another one to be maybe develop just a mask under your armpits. We call them lymph nodes. Okay. Then you should draw your mind to something. So any abnormality in size, shape, color, mass within the breast that you notice, you need to uh, take it very seriously and go and see your doctor and get checked. 
now I'm, I'm kind of confused because you know mostly when you have a child, your breasts, you normally have one bigger than the other. Yes. So it's assumed that, oh, as women, one of our breasts is always bigger than the other. Yes. So now if I look in the mirror and I have one breast bigger than the other, yes. does it mean so I should be concerned? So that's bigger than the other is known to you already. Mm -hmm. So now it will be more or markedly bigger. Okay. And it may look a bit full. M maybe now a 34 and a 36. Exactly. So your normal bigger, everybody, even when you have not breastfed, mm -hmm. one is slightly bigger than the other. And this will be significantly bigger than the other one. Is, is, is there a feeling you get? Um, some people have said, oh, maybe you would feel some pain in the breast. Some have said sometimes you don't feel anything at all. It just happens. Yes, they are right. Some are painless and some are painful. So there may be pain or not. So we say anything that looks like this is different, even from just the texture mm -hmm. or the feel of your breast, this is different. So you realize that some people have picked it up either by doing their own breast self-examination or even their husbands. Mm -hmm have picked it up because they feel mm, this is not a normal no. feeling that so anything that doesn't look like what your normal is is something that you should be concerned and come and get you. Now for most women is the fear of breast cancer. So even if you have a mammogram and you are being told we see something, just the news alone can break you. Yes. As women who are Try. We, we, we're all trying our very best to be the best at everything we do. Being a single mother, being a career woman, being a housewife, we are loaded. Yes. So how do we prepare ourselves for such an encounter? Because going to get a test done is easy. But psychologically, if it should turn out the other way, how do we prepare ourselves and how do we take or how do we accept it and okay. live with it okay so what it is is you can never be completely or <laughs> prepared adequately for that kind of news but what we do is that we have a team so we work as a team and the news is broken in a way that would if it will require some support we have, we have support that support we have system. Psychologists and we have other nurses who have been trained to tell you. And even before you get to that level, right from your appearance to see the doctor mm -hmm. and the examination, some information would... You doctors know how to do. You drop hints. Do, yes, you drop it. We call it a warning shot. <laughs> so you sort of drop a few hints. hints. Like, oh, this thing may mm -hmm. be normal or may... So let's keep an open mm -hmm. mind and then get, get this thing checked. Then as we go along, you, so you will be with us throughout the so whole... So you'll be dropping the shots bit by bit. Small by small. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then finally, if it really is that, we look at the whole picture. So we look at you, we screen totally, look at everywhere before we break the news because they spread to elsewhere or otherwise will inform what we will tell you. Tell and what the prognosis would be. Okay, so now let's take it that you have a patient who has just come in and cancers always do come in stages. So what, what are the stages with breast cancer? Okay, so we have the stage where it is localized, stage one where it's localized just within the lump or within the breast. And we have the stage where it is broken out of the capsule within the breast. So it's within the breast, but it's a wider area. And the stages where it has spread to the other breasts, and then the other ones where it goes into the bloodstream to the whole system, where it can go to the lungs, the stomach, the spine, and then everywhere, the brain, and everywhere else. Okay, so with, with, the, with the first stage, how does it mostly look like, and what are some of the remedies you give? Okay, so that can come as just the lung. Mm -hmm. So in the past, we used to uh, have something we call needle, we do a needle aspiration. So they sort of take a sample from the lung. Okay. 
take it to the lab, make sure that examine it. Yeah. If it is it, and the decision has to be taken whether to do a wide, to take the wide area of the breast tissue together with the lump or to take out the whole breast tissue. Breast. Wow. So those are the, the, the options that are, some of the options that we have available. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why they take this thing is that even though we've seen that it's localized, cancer can be very unpredictable. Mm -hmm. So to save the whole situation, take the whole tissue that it can be hiding somewhere, somewhere. else. And then... So there is no real care. So there is no real care. And even with those ones, we even have to add chemotherapy to it as well, just to make sure that if there's anything they may have left from the handling, it will totally kill it to its roots. So when a woman is going through that phase, let's say you get to this stage where you're in denial and you're like, okay, I'm going to pray about it. Prayer answers everything. But I believe there is a reason God gives doctors like you knowledge to provide for us as a people. So you get most women just focusing and not going to the hospital for treatment. So by the time they come to the hospital, they're actually in their latter state yes. so how long does it take one from point a to point c okay. so what what it says that depends on the type of cancer some of them are very old or invasive so i've seen a patient that from the onset we saw a lump I mean, within about eight months after about eight months she was born you're kidding. Yes. So it depends, that fast? Yes. And others to are slow. So it depends on the the invasive nature of that particular cancer. You know, cancer has types. Yeah. They are the invasive, they are the ones that are slow growing. So it depends on the invasive nature. So it can go as small as maybe a couple of months mm -hmm. to years. Is there something that contributes to the invasiveness of a cancer, maybe what you eat, no, lifestyle, no, that's nothing of the sort. No. So there's no telling which particular one will come your way. So it can actually wipe you out in eight months. Yes, if nothing is done. About it. And where it's with this person I'm talking about, she came, something was going to be done about it. And then she said, she went to seek advice and he said, an aunt of hers, who had something similar, just went to call me, me, and she didn't come back again. So she would go and try her bar and come. come. So we talked to her, we counseled. In fact, there's now links with the breast uh, surgeons. She still, so by the time she was brought in, it was completely spread everywhere. In fact, it was like a, a mass that was oozing with a lot of liquid. And then shortly after, she passed. So this was the situation with that particular uh, case. Wow. On that side, we'll take a quick break. And when we come back, I'm sure women will sit up and listen to wise counsel from Dr. Ayungo Anan. Kata World Cup 2022. Maybe said said. Phone bang. Home theater bang. TV bang soon on the High Sense TV. High Sense TV. High Sense TV. High Sense TV. Who should work that for High Sense TV? The chance is to be a picture of food. Clear. Come in, come to a mouth. So, who connect to High Sense Home Theater? And the High Sense TV. Come and train. Who about to say, gig him, gig him, gig him? Ask the original hope. Be. She never said, yes, that's the World Cup match. No one can traffic me. And no one high sense smartphone. And down so. Show off also. Picture the sound. A clear. Kata 22 World Cup. Yeah, because I will share now freely. Yeah, I'm saying so tall, so for my heading. Madam High Sense. Martin to sell. Who? And the opportunity. High Sense World Cup triple promo. Every 20th October. I come on 28th November. Mobile phone. Sound system, TV, one Tobia, why your home? Yet that's a cry, I'm real. High sense of one about five years warranty. Promo away, our high sense showrooms in our Ghana for Nenina. High sense, everyday prices for everyday people. 
I remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sandwich chip had took the worry away. Easy. Yas comfort, I got Yas confidence, I got Yas. The new Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. We don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident. Stay fresh. Hi. Is it supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got Yes. We got Yaz protection. I got Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad for extra comfort. We got Yaz Protection! Hello, your friend is Jackie. So we will be our winner on who are the Ajete Semia. In Pimpino, you to me five gems if you get a dear you need your Busia, your fans, any and that for for any of them. so, who bet to me about home buy? Use a dunkle hand sanitizer, dip beer, any beer beer. If you say you to me five gems if you need my answer is home. A dunkle hand sanitizer, bet to me about home buy, dip beer, free gems, bacteria, I you need in home. A dunkle hand sanitizer, sure or do. Never home by FD as we first said, Jedi and Kratuimu Ajia to say a Pepsodan Nature Essentials Charcoal and Lemon Essence restores natural white tea, herbal extract for strong teeth and healthy gums, antibacterial toothpaste that protects you and your family because every smile matters. Hello. For this week's high science super crazy giveaway moment in Nima. Jumi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, which episode is your favorite? Um, Nana, Ma Nana Mama Glasses. Oh, that's right, sweetheart. <laughs> yes. So, what, what inspired you about her story? Um, well, for starters, uh, I have a friend that has been struggling to give birth. So, her story was a connection for me. I have my own child, but my friend who has been struggling almost committed suicide thanks to some of the family members Sarah. and friends. Yes. So, when I watched that you episode, could relate to the exactly. Story. So, I just called my friend, like, hey, you have to watch this. And she's like, okay, where? And when I said, okay, I've watched it, it's a late episode, but then you can watch it afterwards. So I'll just tell you how to get when it. it gets on yes. So I told her about it, and she went there to watch it. And when Nanama was talking about her story, about when she was, she would be uncertain, someone would just be talking. Uh, yeah, and then she'd be thinking. They are talking about <laughs> yes. me. So I'll just say, I'm going to help me, and she'd be like, oh, yeah, so I'm not my jam, I'm home. So it was a very nice story and it's a motivational something. So I'm very happy you are doing this for all of us because watching you is a motivation to all of us. Some of us, we really, really need this because in our communities, we, we really have lost all hopes, literally, thinking, okay, at this point, you are not going anywhere again, yes. So thank you so, so much for coming into our community to help us and to save some of us. So thank you so much. I all the thanks goes to God. Yes. For Allah, yes, because yes. He is the giver of everything we have. Yes, true. And in life, when you are blessed, you also have to share. That's true. That is how we show the greatness of yes, God for yes. Allah. Yes, yes. So, Hi Sense asked us to give this to you <laughs> okay. and say thank you for constantly watching the show. Thank so you. So, what very do you have much. to say to Hi Sense? Um, thank you very much, Hi Sense. Thank you for all your good products. We're bringing it to the market and we purchase your products. So all right. You. Jimmy, thank you so much and take very good care of yourself. Okay, so Jimmy you. is our winner for this week. Next week will come your way with another winner. Okay.
Restoration. Welcome back. This is our winner for this week's High Sense Super Crazy Giveaway Moment. And we are on our conversation with Dr. Ayongo Anan on breast cancer. And ladies, I just don't want you to look at how fabulous we are looking, but I want you to listen to every word that is coming out of her mouth because we are the home. We are the backbone of the home. If we are not there, only God knows how our children will survive. So please take all the wise counsel from this conversation and make sure that this month of October, you will go out there and get checked. It's not painful. Just like how they used to ask about cervical cancer. It's not painful. This is just an examination. You can even try it at home yourself or let your husband try it for you. If you find anything irregular, you know your body, make sure you go to the nearest hospital and seek assistance, please. Dr. Anand, so we're back. Mostly, like just before we went on the break, we wait till the last minute. When it becomes super invasive, how does it affect the patient? Because we know it's going to affect some organs. Yes. And the organs are what keep us alive. So the moment it tackles the organs, what happens to the patient? Okay. So what happens is that when it goes to the other organs, then we have a palliative care. So we treat you as and when, for instance, it goes to the brain, you're having headaches. We'll give you painkillers, pain relief. If you are vomiting because of Increased pressure in the brain will reduce the vomiting or will give you medication to reduce the vomiting. So wherever it is that it finds itself, you try to treat the symptom. And then sometimes you try and give chemotherapy to just reduce yes. pain and all those. So it's, it's, it's more of a sustainability program. Exactly. So we are just buying time because we are not caught. You don't know when, when it will happen. It will happen. But it's like... Just so, eating. bottom line is the moment you get there, you're going to go. Yes. Once it's spread, then that is the issue. But as to when that is going to happen, no one can tell. So. But when it hasn't spread, then you can actually root it out. And then... Which of the organs is the most sensitive? That when it, it hits this organ, you know that... Mm -mm. The lungs... The lungs, because you know we breathe. We breathe through it. Yes. So when it it invades there, and, I mean it becomes very difficult to breathe. Oxygen saturation goes down. Then you know the whole system functions by the blood supplying oxygen mm -hmm. to all our tissues. So when that supply reduces, then gradually the brain, other areas are all affected. So now let's say I'm home and I want to check myself how how do i check okay so we usually would advise you on what we call the self breast examination mm -hmm. so we say monthly every woman should check so we shouldn't even wait for october no, every month every month you check it at home then once a year it will be good for you to see a doctor or a nurse practitioner to examine your breast for you so by a professional hand once a year it's okay but every month, you are supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. And we have different ways we see you. Because I we advise you, we do it within the shower when everything is a bit slippery. Okay. Because then anything slips under your finger. Mm -hmm. You feel it easily. Easily. So that's one way. And then the other way is in front of a mirror. So first of all, let you stand. I don't know if I can. I can. Yes, you can demonstrate. So you first of all can stand in front of the mirror. And then you raise your hands. You know, when you raise your hands, the breast sort of would lift up, and then you can look. So what are you looking for? You are looking for the size, you are comparing the two, there are two organs. You are looking for skin lesions, you are looking for any cuts, any ulcers, any wounds around. Nipple, you are looking at it, is it, or we call it facing outward, or is it facing in you look at all that. And look at the color. You look at the color, and then you look at any change in the skin. Mm -hmm. Then you bring whichever one you want to examine first, you bring that one down. And then you take the other hand, make sure you use, you know, the inside of your palm. So what you are doing, you are pressing the breast tissue against the bone. Okay. 
So anything flesh and bone, if there's something beneath, you'd feel it. Mm -hmm. And you try to divide the breast into about six compartments. Okay. What are the six? So one, two, three, four. The center is five. five. And then six is what we call the axillary. Getting close to your armpit. Okay. Yes, we call it the axillary team or the breast team. Mm -hmm. Some actually have a lot of breast tissue within that area. Mm -hmm. So you make sure that you cover all those areas. So one, you press it against the bone. Two, then three, four. Don't forget the nipple area. The nipple area. And then this. When you are done with that, you can also examine the armpits Pit. to see if there are any nodes or any mm -hmm. tendons there. Then you milk the nipple to see oh. if there'll be a, 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 any fluid. fluid of fluid coming out. Then you bring that hand down and do the next place. Okay. So you can do it standing. You can also do the same procedure lying on your bed. At this time, your hand behind your head and then you examine. Oh, okay. So if you're lying, if you're lying your hand has to go back. Yes. The idea is you want to tense the muscles of the chest. Okay. So that anything between the bone and the flesh will be felt. So this is basically what we call a self-breast examination, Mission. which you are supposed to do every month. And you need to know exactly whatever time you do it, do it that same time every month. Every month. So if it's in the shower, it's still the same, still standing, the same standing posture. Yes. Then just at this time, you have soap on you, soap so on it's you slippery. So it's slippery. And then to be easy. I think that one is easier. Yes, if something slips under your finger, you know, this thing, there's a it's mask. Not it's not normal. So if we're not doing home examination and we're coming to the hospital, what kind of examinations are we expected to go through? So this is also what you will do. And this time it's be done by the doctor mm -hmm. or the nurse practitioner. So this is what we'll do. We'll examine all these quadrants like this. Mm -hmm. But if you are over 40, we would let you do an extra investigation, mm -hmm. a mammogram. Okay. Yes. That's exactly, this is exactly what we'll do in the hospital, in addition to a mammogram, if you are over 40 years. Okay, so you still do the physical examination, so the then when you're done, just to be sure, because you're over 40, exactly. you do a mammogram just to clear yes. that you are good. So mammogram is like a screening for the over 40s, and you do it yearly. Okay. So unlike a cervical cancer, that can go two years into three. This one, you'd have to do it every year. Once. Once. Why every year? Because we are looking at if there are any changes. How long does it take for these cancers to develop? Yes, the problem with breast cancer is, is not specific like the way cervical cancer so, takes a long time. time. It will depend on the invasive nature of, of the, cancer. the cancer. So you so could be fine right. this month and, and next month you're not fine. Cancer and like within months, I mean, the lump develops into an invasive cancer, spreads everywhere. What are some of the remedies you give women who are bold enough to come and go through the process? Okay, when you talk about remedies, one of the major remedies is the fact that we can do the chemotherapy and then we can take out the breast. Mm -hmm. Now, I, am, I even have a, a story to share, which was a very positive one, where the client agreed to take out the breast. The breast. Yeah, and these days we have breast prosthesis too. Yeah. And there was no way, we never knew that had happened to her until she said it, that this was her problem. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And when she did it, she was followed up for years. So they still come for follow-up to mm -hmm. make sure she hasn't spread to right. yeah. And then she realized she was cancer-free, and then they stopped the follow-up. And she's alive to date. She's over 70. Whoa. Yes. So, so I have had to call her about two occasions to come to the clinic to counsel so people. I, I believe it also boils down to our attitude, how we receive it. Yes. I always tell people that when you're sick and you keep telling yourself, I'll die, I'll die, you die. Mm -hmm. But if you have that fighting spirit, you can always sail through. It, it wouldn't be easy, but you will definitely go through because the world is built with connections, with spirits. It's how you feel. Because even if an angel is here to bless you and you're not ready for the blessing, 
it, it won't happen. It's, it's just like someone saying, oh, I have money for you to start a business. What is your business plan? And you don't have a plan. The person will take the money away. So sometimes we also have to be positive. No matter what we're going through. As women, I know we get overwhelmed. But we should also know that we are very powerful and we can sail through everything if we put our minds to. So now that October is here, how best are we going to work? Because now you need to give me a position at Moak, though I'm not a doctor. How best are we going to work to ensure that women get this message and will come out and get screened? Okay, so for the whole month of October, and uh, where I work at the Kolibu Polyclinic, the Medical Women's Association of Ghana, together with the Society of Family Physicians of Ghana and the Polyclinic, are teaming together to do free breast screening between awesome. the hours of 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. So 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. from Mondays to Fridays. Throughout Friday. October? Yes, throughout so October. So there's, you don't have an excuse. You are not mm -hmm. going... To join a queue, you have to bring this, you have to bring that. All you need is just transportation. It's not an excuse for you to say, when my are busy, and I'm in this car, I'm in a better way. But no, please, women, our health is very paramount. And this is free. And the beautiful thing about Moag is if you go and there is a situation, they will not just leave you. They are going to hold your hand and walk you through the process. There have been times people have called me and they've not had all the financial support they've needed. But Dr. Coleman, Dr. Annan, and the rest of the doctors, beautiful women, they help these people through. So it's not always about the money. Your life is precious. We need you alive. We need you to be safe. So don't make any excuses this October. Over the years, we've been worrying you in January, but now we are worrying you in October too. So please, make sure you go. Kolibu Polyclinic, eight. So leave home by six, drop the kids at school, go and get checked. It's better to be late than sorry, please. And, and in addition to that free screening for the whole month, on the 15th of October, there's also a team from the US whom we are teaming with, Moag mm -hmm. is teaming with, and um, there will be a screening at the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons. Okay. So for that one, breast is going to be free, but there will also be other screenings, but they will be heavily subsidized. So if you haven't also done your cervical cancer, cancer screening, you can. you can get it. Now it's about over 170, 180 yeah. Ghana cities. You can get screenings done for 50 Ghana cities. So these are great opportunities exactly. to get all these tests done because there may be something happening that you are not aware of. Yeah. And the thing about women is we buy everything. We buy the shoes, we buy the wigs, we buy the bags. Yes. So just tell yourself that you're giving yourself a Christmas gift. Christmas is coming early. So take out money from your shopping money and just go get a thorough screening done. Cervical, breast cancer, everything. Just get it done. You never know. You never know, because if we are able to detect it on time, we can help you fight it. But if you leave it and go like, oh, I'm waiting for God, I'm waiting for God, God works through people. God does not work alone. Just like I gave you an example that if you, you want money and the person brings money and asks, what is your business proposal and you don't have any, they will take their money away. God works hand in hand with men. So please, go out there, get checked. You have great support system from work. They will call to check on you. And mostly what kills most women is when it gets to that time, you don't have friends. Everybody would vanish. Yeah. So if you don't have a good support system at home or people who would genuinely care about you, it becomes very difficult to yes. deal. And it actually sends them away faster because then the loneliness exactly. and depression sets in and then that's it. And we also like to encourage the men to actually to get mm -hmm. because last year when we did a screening, we had men come in and we picked lumps. You're joking. Yes, we picked lumps from men and uh, we had to follow them up. And you know, for men, because it's not natural for them to have mm -hmm. that, those lumps, when they have it, there's a higher chance of it being a dangerous lump. 
So men also please come also get checked. Now, talking about breasts, we have daughters. Some start developing breasts at 12, 13, even now 10, because of the kind of food we feed them now. Should we be concerned? Should such children also get screened? Yes. They can also come in to get the free. It's a free checkup. Okay. It's a free opportunity. They call any woman who has breasts and come in and get checked. Then, then I think we should say any like female. Adolescents. Yes, they, they from the adolescent. Now they are developing the breast yeah, area. Very early. Yes. So when the mothers are going along, can go along with her. And then we get it. But at, at that young exam. age, how is it possible that they could have lumps? It could be a lump and it could be unlikely to be cancer. Okay. Because we had one to last year. I think she was about 10. And there was a lump. But it wasn't but when cancerous. It, out, it wasn't cancerous. Okay. Yes. Wow. So Mothers, please, let's really treat this thing with all urgency. Now we're talking about mothers, mothers. But now if you're going you need to take your daughters with you. Because n now the world has become very different. Before we will say Yarebi or Penny for Yare, but now Yarebi or Bayare is not about age. So please let's make sure we are taking our daughters with us. Let them just get screened. It's nothing. Dr. Anand did the demonstration. It's really nothing. You can even check it for them at home. But for me, so that we are not sorry later, take them to the polyclinic, let them get checked. It, it wouldn't take anything from us. It would be time well spent. And at least you will know that I did what is right. So please don't take this thing for granted at all. So apart from the 15th and throughout the month at the polyclinic, are there other places that people can go to to get screened? Usually, honestly, in a month like that, almost every health facility has that kind of arrangement where they, you can walk in and get your breast checked. Okay. But for us in Kolebu, I know about the Kolebu Polyclinic and then the main surgical block, the second floor. Okay. They have a clinic there called the Breast Clinic. And then also the radiotherapy unit. They would also have They better. also screen breast as well. What? So basically, this month of October is a month where any health facility you walk into and want your breast checked. You, get you would get a check yes. for you. I think after the conversation, my team and I were just talking about us going out just like we did in Nima to this time, maybe add breast cancer and a few other ones for free for some community. So I'm sure we'll talk after the conversation to see how best we can collaborate and get it done. So I would want a very big thank you to you. I would make sure I come by the clinic one of the days to spend a day with you oh, yes. and help examine the women. You teach me how to do it. <laughs> the guys here want to go and examine. The examination is for, is yeah, for guys. We will not allow you. Unless you are bringing your wife. If you're bringing your wife, you can examine your wife. Yeah, the, the doctors, exactly. Exactly. So Dr. Anand, thank you very much for coming. But before you leave as usual, it's a high sense moment and you have to pick a card. Okay, thank you for coming. You take home a high sense rice cooker. Yay! So we're going to eat more rice, rice cooker. Congratulations to you. So as we fight breast cancer, are there certain foods we are not allowed to eat? Okay, so what we usually so say here you go. Thank you. Thank you. So this is from Yas, our own people. Yes, yes so thank you. Yes, yeah, so the food bits, that's very important because me lately I've been eating a lot. Yes, so what we usually say is that you need to eat healthy. Okay. When breast, especially breast cancer, you need to eat healthy fruits and vegetables should be the major part of your day. And today I was giving a lecture to the kids and I was telling them that at least for every day you should have five helpings okay. of fruits and vegetables daily. Wow. So you should make sure you are doing that. And then obesity is also one of the risk factors. Mm -hmm. So we need to let our weight be within our BMI range, which is supposed to be 18.5 to 24.9. Mm. That is the normal BMI. The normal so BMI. And your height 
your weight divided by your height squared should be between 18.5 to 24.9. So that I know that you are living healthy. healthy life. And then exercise. We need to exercise. If you are not exercising at all, at least 30 minutes of work. Of work. Three to five days in a week is very important. Mm. And that's what doctors, you are not part of it because you work a lot. The, the, the world rounds alone is a lot of work. Also add it. Yeah. But thank so you very much. Are the things. And then stress. You need to make sure your stress level to is It's low. By relaxing. I relax. That why you should give me applause. You see, today I told you I don't stress anymore, so you should applaud me. I'm mm -hmm. pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much, Dr. Anna. And it's always a pleasure to have her mm -hmm. in our studio. A very big thank you to our sponsors, because without them, all these vital information will not come to you, our viewers. So we say thank you to Yas Washin Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad, Hooch Corn and Choco Flakes, High Sense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Adonko Original Hand Sanitizer and Adonko Next Level. La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, GTP. And to our supporters, Ophelia of ABS Lux Line. Thank you very much for my outfit. GH Beauty Artistry, Divine Cassie, Brian Phil Studio. We're saying a very Big thank you to our production company, M Clown Media Production. You guys are simply amazing. So, ladies, we are in the month of October. Don't make excuses. Book this appointment as if you're going to get your nails done, as if you're going to the salon to change your weave. It is very important because your health is your life. We'd like to say a very big thank you for joining us today. But always do remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you.